here at the Wife Center next to the State House. We're here as home care workers to bring a message to the governor, let him know that low wages for home care workers is not okay. We are asking him to join us in the fight to increase our wages. I started in the field 13 years ago. Uh, my wages then were $7.50 an hour. Uh, 13 years, I'm currently making $8 an hour with no benefits, uh, with no paid time off, with no sick leave. People don't want to spend more money. They don't want to be taxed more. They don't want you know, the legislature. But you have to say, these are people. Are, these are people taking care of your mother. Why do you want uh, workers that aren't paid um, well or or get paid for travel? Why do you want them to get a better deal at McDonald's than they're getting in home care when they're doing something as important as that? These. Okay, because I like these the best. I think there are going to have to be better incentives than there are now to draw them into that field uh, because we certainly can't afford uh, facility care for all the people that are going to need care. It's really difficult to get good help. I've found issues with mm, probably all the agencies I've used. One day I had him take John to the doctor. It was the only time I ever had him take John to a doctor's appointment. And they did not want him ever to bring John back because they were horrified by the way he jerked John around, by the way he yelled at him. Um, and so he, he was finished in our house. Other issues, you have people that take things. All the years that I've needed caregivers and it's like you know, over 40 years, you almost have to build that in to uh, having a caregiver. It's not easy sometimes. I mean, you can get hit or you can get scratched or, you, you know, there's all kinds of things that can happen to you, but that's just, you have to have a heart to do, to do that. It's not about money so much. Uh, we don't make much money doing this. It's just, I guess, just helping people and knowing that you're all making right, a, a difference in somebody's yeah. life. Pie for you. We love Al, but John especially loves Al. I can leave the house, go out, and know that John's safe and well cared for, and that's what you want. Hi, Dad. Hi, John. You have to really ask the questions. What kind of background checks do you do? Um, who's supervising the person? Who is going to check with me to make sure that things got done? You know, there are things that you should be asking a, a home care agency if you're buying it privately. You should get referrals from people. I almost think we need to have a movement among good, huh? family members yeah. and people needing care. We need to get together, to get organized, to get somebody behind us, to get these problems taken care of and to get these caregivers more money to get some oversight about what's going on. There needs to be eyes in the home. So it's really all over the board and left to the consumer oftentimes to figure out uh, just what kind of quality the home care agency uh, is gonna provide for them.